London Fashion Week Men's is so exciting because we're seeing a lot of diversity in gender, styles and music. What I love about this city and what I hope will never change is the multiculturalism, the dynamism, everything is mixed and that's a wonderful thing. Fashion over the last few years undoubtedly has become more inclusive. I think young people especially are demanding representation. They want to see models that look like them, whether that's race, gender, body shape, and London have charged the way in that respect. We're the first ones to go. The world of fashion tends to look at London for the kickoff for the season. It's at the Truman Brewery and it's in the east end of London. It's really good that it's in East London. It feels like the context makes much more sense for the creative vibe that exists in London's menswear. So much of the young design talent is from here and we live here, so yeah, it's great to show the world a different side of London. I'm born in London, I'm from South East London. My collection is inspired by my friends. It's been absolutely manic, like trying to get this all together. We've just taken the leap from Fashion East to doing our own solo show. Oh my God, it's so much more work. And the BFC have been absolutely incredible in giving us the support that we need to make that jump. You just saw a collection which was a collaboration with Pokemon and that was it. <laughs> what we're trying to do actually is, is get men involved into fashion and, and be passionate about fashion as much as we are. That's our job as ambassadors. What I do is work with people and the environment, handwoven new fabrics from waste, so it's all kind of recycled or organic. We as an industry can't continue making and consuming in the way that we are. Our whole premise from the beginning was challenging the industry to think differently. It's only by us all working together, from a government level to the smallest level, that we'll really make a difference. London design has always made us think, and the men's designers certainly do as well. They are a league of its own, and it's important to have this creativity in the fashion world right now. Men's week tends to be leaps and bounds ahead of women's weeks in a lot of ways. Young people and the next generation are blurring the lines of gender and sexuality, and so I'm looking for runways that distinctly show that kind of a sensibility in their approach to dressing. It's all about equality and it's all about diversity, and I think fashion is a wonderful way of showing that. There's an amazing energy. It's a very exciting time for men's fashion, especially here in London. There's something of everything here. The eclectic mix of designers, you have streetwear, you have tailoring. It's about how many people can coexist and create something. I think it's a magic place for them. London's menwear designers set the tone for creativity. Incredibly high standard of the collections. It's been a brilliant start to the year. This current generation has the best designers that we've seen in a decade. And I think there's such a spirit now. There's a real zeitgeist feel about London at the moment. You've got Milan, which is all about showing off, and you've got Paris, which is about elegance, and you've got London, which kind of has both of those things too, but it also has that level of creativity that is part of our lifeblood, which I think is very different to those other cities. And it's so ingrained into us that we don't even realize how valuable it is.